Hey guys, this is Najad again from DIY Ustad. Today we are going to learn about using a test switch based on TTP223 IC. Let's learn a little bit about the test switch. This is a TTP223B. This is the touch indication LED which will turn on when the output is high. This is the ground pin, middle one is the output pin and this is the VCC. We can use voltage from 2.5V to 5.5V. These two are configuration terminals which we will talk about later in detail. And these terminals are used for adjusting the sensitivity by adding capacitor. By default, there won't be any capacitor and the switch will be working with full sensitivity. The test sensitivity area will be on the other side of the switch. Now let's talk about the four different configurations for the test switch. In configuration 1, both A and B are open. By default, the output pin is low and it turns high when a touch is detected and stays high until the touch is released. In configuration 2, A is open and B is closed. The default state of output pin will be low and the pin turns high when a touch is detected and it stays high until touched again. That means the output pin state will be locked for each touch. In configuration 3, A is closed and B is open. By default, the output state will be high and pin turns low when a touch is detected and it stays low until the touch is released. In the last configuration, both A and B are closed and the default output state is high and the output turns low when a touch is detected and it stays low until touched again. That means the output state is locked for each touch. Now let's learn how to connect the touch switch with an LED. First connect the ground of the touch switch to the ground of both battery and the LED. Then connect the anode of the LED to the output pin of touch switch. Then connect the positive terminal of the battery to the VCC of the touch switch. Now let's see it in action. This switch is set to configuration 1. That is by default the LED will be off and it turns on when touched and off when released. Now change the switch to configuration 2. Here by default the LED will be off and turns on when touched and it remains on until touched again. Now connect the switch with third configuration. In this configuration by default the LED will be on and turns off when touched and remains off until the touch is released. Now let's move to the last configuration where both A and B are closed. This configuration is exactly opposed to the second configuration. By default, the LED will be on and turns off when touched and it remains off until touched again. Now let's try to connect it with an Arduino. So the circuit is as follows. Connect the ground of Arduino to the ground of the switch. Connect any digital pin of the Arduino to the touch switch out. And finally connect the 5V of Arduino to the VCC of the switch. Okay, so now we have connected everything. Now let's move to the coding. The program is very simple and straightforward. It is same as interfacing a push button. First we need to declare a name for the digital pin which we have connected the test. Then configure it as input pin using the pin mode function. Then inside void loop declare a boolean variable to store the test switch state. Now using digital read function read the value from the test switch pin and, and store it to the test state variable. And print the output to the serial monitor using serial.println function. Now choose the board and port and upload the code. In the first configuration switch, the state will change only when the switch is touched and reverts back to the default state when released. This is the second configuration switch which will change the state when touched and stays on that state until touched again. By default, the state will be low. In the third configuration by default the state will be high and changes the state when touched and will turns back the default when the touch is released. In the fourth configuration the initial state will be high and changes the state low when touched and stays low until touched again. Now if you need to turn a bulb or call some functions when the touch switch changes the state for that write a symbol if else block like this. If you have any other doubts check out my blog for more information. The link is provided in the description.